Because one thing my mother did teach me, she taught me about economics, keep my money right. She sent me to the best schools. My mother was so cheap when we was growing up. It's not that she was cheap. She was just a single parent, and she wanted to make sure that we knew every day that she was on the budget, so she reminded us every motherfucking day, I'm single, and I'm on the motherfucking budget, period. <laughs> My mother would do silly shit like take us to the movie theater and wouldn't buy us nothing from the concession stand. Now, just think about this. This is some cold-blooded shit. When you take kids to the movie theater and don't buy them nothing from the concession stand, do you know how long of a walk that is as a kid to walk past all that candy and popcorn and shit? And you know how good popcorn smell at the movie. My sister used to walk by that bitch with her tongue out like this. mother would actually pack us a lunch to go to the movies so we would be sitting in the theater eating tuna fish sandwiches and you know in the dark tuna fish smell like pussy so sometime the usher would come down and flash the light on me and my sister like is somebody fucking in this area right here and we sitting in the dark with mayonnaise on the corner of our mouth like This shit ain't right right here, this ain't right. <laughs> but what she did, she did invest in my education. She made sacrifices to send me to some of the best schools she could afford. Like for most of my childhood years, I went to predominantly white schools. So I didn't know the difference as a child in being black and white. I really didn't. Till one Christmas holiday, I fucked around and went home with a little white girlfriend of mine. <laughs> seen some shit at the white people house I had never seen in my life. They had their Christmas tree up. They had these things on the Christmas tree called popcorn balls. <laughs> Why this was some of the jazziest shit I had ever seen in my life. <laughs> what they did was they popped popcorn, put food coloring on the popcorn, put syrup on it, rolled it into a ball, hung ribbons on it and hung it on the tree. Boy, this was some of the flyest shit I had ever seen in my life. I couldn't wait to get back to the hood to teach my family how to make popcorn balls. Soon as they dropped me off, I opened up the door, I told my mom, get some popcorn out, I got something to show y'all. Well, that night we popped up the popcorn, put food coloring on it, put the syrup on it, rolled it into a ball, wrapped a ribbon around it and hung it on the tree. It was beautiful. We woke up the next morning, the roaches were stuck like the matrix. I said, hold on, hold on. This ain't how this is supposed to look. Hold on, start popping some more popcorn. This, this shit don't work over here. This ain't right right here. Hold on. And my mom in the background hollering out, don't bring that white people shit over here fucking up my good popcorn shit. <laughs> 